Hi, this video is about understanding the MATLAB interface and let me start by opening up MATLAB. Uh, by the way, I'm using Mac OS 10 as the latest OS version. So I have here MATLAB 2017A. Click on it to get it started. It does take a while to load up the program and sometimes you will get to see this pop up and allow can even pick deny and it will still run. So now this is what you would see once you start up MATLAB and uh, very much different than the 2008 version, the one I was using before, but the basic layout is uh, about the same. We have our command window and this is where we type in our commands such as the x equals to 1 and you press enter and you get to see MATLAB interact by giving the the results in the workspace. Here I define that x is equal to 1 and so um, in the workspace x appears with a value of 1 as defined. And this window here is uh, the current folder or the working directory where MATLAB would look for the files to load. So um, if you cannot find the files here in the in the working directory then it will not be able to load that file, just give an error saying that file not found. Uh, over on top you see there are three tabs, home, plots and apps. This is what we would click on if we want to uh, write a new script. So most of your work or your assignment will be uh, dealing with writing scripts and uh, this is where you would do it in this script window. And let me just close that. And uh, there's also other types of files that you can create. This is similar as the new script option. There's also the live script function and so on. Most of them we won't be using except for this one. And this button is uh, for you to open up your previously saved MATLAB scripts. The rest where we would import data, although I would prefer you to use the command line to import data. It's a lot more efficient in the long term. Uh, this is if you want to save any workspace, like say here, if I were to save it, and it'll say, okay, the, it'll give a default name, and I say if I just say test data, it will save it in this extension, .mat extension. And uh, clicking on save, and it will save that only the workspace. It will not save whatever that you type here. It just It will only save the, the data that you have defined or you've created in the workspace. This is if you, if you want to define a new variable uh, without typing it in. Um, I, I don't recommend using this, um, but uh, there's a, this is a graphical user interface for you to uh, put in your data. And uh, this is if you want to open the variable, like say if I want to open up x just now that I defined there. And uh, clear workspace is just like what it says, it means to clear any variable that you've uh, defined in the workspace. So if I click on clear workspace, all variables will be deleted. So if I click on OK, then everything is gone here. Analyze code if you like to, you're going to debug your code, um, run and time if, if you're interested in the amount of time that your script will take to run. Clear commands is if you want to clear whatever you see in the command window, if I click on this and click on OK, the written command would disappear, but it, the command is still there, it's just that it's in the history, it's just not shown here in the command window. Next we have the simulink that you use for simulation of processes. Layout is if you want to change the current layout of command window, the current folder, the details and so on in any other uh, format, like say the default is this one. If I were to change this to say tree column, it will look like this, where the command window would be in the middle, all but command window. If you just like to minimize everything else and just com and just focus on the c command line and your, and your codes, uh, here you get to choose whichever window that you would like to appear. Let's say if I were to choose the default style again to arrange it like when we just opened it. And here I choose, okay, we get to see the current folder. It's ticked, that means it's on. Workspace, it's ticked, so it's on. Uh, panel titles, oh yeah, the panel titles. If you would like to remove the panels, the, the titles of the panel, like current folder and details, because it might clutter the limited space that you might have on your screen. Um, let's see, shortcut tabs, there'll be another tab here. And command history, where you like to see it. Docked, okay, here is another window that pops up. Uh, you'll be able to see all the previous 
commands that you've um, input into the command window. Notice that there's uh, you cleared it before, but it doesn't mean that it's gone from your history. You can still retrieve those commands if you open up the command history window. So let me just close in command history into a pop-up. Okay, set path is uh, to define where your working directory will be. The first place MATLAB will look for uh, for any files or any data that you would like MATLAB to import. It is advisable that if you're working on a MATLAB project and import data from that project, then it's advisable for you to place everything that you need for that project in a folder and define that folder as the working directory so that it's easier for you to, to import the data. Or else you have to uh, type in the the address or the location of the of the file and that could be quite tiresome and I'll talk ab more about this in topic data import uh, here is a very nice feature that I noticed in the recent version of MATLAB is where you can even learn MATLAB from their website provided of course that you have an account but as a student of uh, this course of uh, USM and IA216 you do have access to uh, this facility uh, where you can learn on your own, guided by prompts, guided by um, online MATLAB. So I suggest for you to check this out. Now let's go into the Plots tab. So here they make it a lot easier to plot uh, as compared to before, where if you have some data over in your workspace, then you can just select those data and click on Plot, and a plot window will pop up. So right now there's no variable, so that's why it's grayed out. And there's also the app. So this is where... Um, you get you get to see all of the toolboxes installed in your MATLAB installation. So as you can see, uh, we have a lot of uh, toolboxes here. We have the curve fitting toolbox. Um, there's also the image processing toolbox. Computer vision. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Yeah, there's also this um, code generation toolbox and computational biology. A lot of cool stuff. If you want a particular toolbox that's not here, then you can always click on install app and get more apps or package app. So that will be it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.